This is a report by SS Brigade Fuhrer Stahlecker to Himmler, dated 15 October 1941, entitled Action Group A, found in Himmler's private file. He reported that 135,567 persons, nearly all Jews, were murdered in accordance to basic orders directing the complete annihilation of the Jews. This voluminous document provides me with the following statement by the SS Brigade Führer. And on translation, bottom of page six, the second sentence of the last paragraph I read, To our surprise, it was not easy at first to set in motion an extensive pogrom against Jews. Clematis, the leader of the partisan unit mentioned above, who was used for this purpose primarily, succeeded in starting a pogrom on the basis of advice given to him by a small advanced detachment acting in Kovno, and in such a way that no German order or German instigation was noticed from the outside. During the first pogrom, in the night from 25 to 26 June, the Lithuanian partisans did away with more than 1,500 Jews setting fire to several synagogues or destroying them by other means and burned down a Jewish dwelling district consisting of about 60 houses. During the following nights, about 2,300 Jews were made harmless in a similar way. And from the last part of paragraph three on page seven, I read, it was possible, though, through similar influences on the Latvian auxiliary, to set in motion a pogrom against the Jews also in Riga. During this pogrom, all synagogues were destroyed and about 400 Jews were killed. Document 501 PS. U.S. Exhibit 288. <laughs> I quote, the overhauling of bands by group D and C is finished. While the vans in the first series can also be put into action if the weather is not too bad, the vans of the second series, sour, start complete, stop completely in rainy weather. If it has rained, for instance, for only one half hour, the vans cannot be used because it simply skids away. It can only be used in absolutely dry weather. It is only a question now whether the van can only be used standing at the place of execution. Action against Jews. On 13 April 1943, the former German dentist Ernst Israel Techauer and his wife, Eliza Sarah Techauer, nay Rosenthal, were committed to the court prison by the security service. Since that time, all German and Russian Jews who were turned over to us had their golden bridge work, crowns and fillings pulled or broken out. This happens always 
one to two hours before the respective action. Since 13 April 1943, 516 German and Russian Jews have been finished off. On the basis of a definite investigation, gold was taken only in two actions. On 14 April 1943, from 172, and on 27 April 1943, from 164 Jews. About 50% of the Jews had gold teeth, bridge work, or fillings. Hopscharf <coughs> Führer Rube of the security service was always personally present, and he took the gold along too. Before 13 April 1943, this was not done. Signed Gunther, prison warden. This letter was forwarded to the defendant Rosenberg as Reich Minister for the Occupied Eastern Territory on 1 June 1943. I will read the covering letter, part of document R 135, page 4. to the Reich Minister of the Occupied Eastern Territories, Berlin, to the Reich Commissioner for the Eastlan, Riga. Subject, action against Jews in the prison of Minsk. The enclosed official report from the warden of the prison in Minsk is submitted to the Reich Minister and the Reich Commissar for information. Signed, the General Commissar in Minsk. 